by blasting eastward at about 30 miles per hour. This could contain some very large hail just passing over 131 right there north of Calcasaca or Calcasca. You can see that this is really producing possibly some large hail as we're looking at it. Gusty winds possible as well. But I do want to tell you we have uh, marine warnings coming off of this for uh, the southern portions of Traver Grand Traverse Bay. So these storms are packing a little bit of a punch this morning already. But the main event is really going to be later this this afternoon <clears throat> into this evening across the UP of Michigan, across northern Wisconsin as well. So Tomahawk, Crystal Falls, you're getting in on that. As mentioned, large hail going to be the main risks, but we do have Torcons of two to three for places like Iron Mountain. That's going to stretch down into Wausau and back into Eau Claire because some of those storms are going to contain the ability to get some rotation within them. So starting out by 7 p.m., we've started to see things fire up in terms of some of the storms from Ashland into Crystal Falls. Green Bay, different story for you. It's not going to be as active for you as it is, say, around Marquette or Crystal Falls. Things are going to start to kind of diminish as we head into the overnight hours. And the good news is you'll have that front move through. And by the time you're waking up Sunday, you should have a slight break in some of that bad weather. The problem is, Colleen, that front is going to continue to sink south and it's going to bring the